Hello and welcome to another episode of Practical IT. In this episode, we are going to pick up where we left off in the previous episode and we're going to take our newly created VM, make a clone, and then start the install of Calibri. Let's get started. We've got our Debian base VM right here. We're going to right click on that and we're going to say clone. It's going to ask for the name of the clone and we are going to call this Calibri Debian and say continue full clone of the current machine state and shortly here we will have a new VM that we can start manipulating. All right, so we're going to go ahead and power this on. And we'll log in as root and as the password that we assigned to root. And we're going to one more time check for updates since we've restarted in between. And we are in good shape with no updates. Okay, so the first thing we need to do here is find out what our IP address is. And we are on 74.166. So we're going to switch over to the terminal. I'll make this a little bit larger to make it easier for everybody to read. And we're going to connect to this new VM. Okay, clear our screen. And the first thing that we need to do is switch to the super user, which is root. And we'll do su space dash and enter the password for the root user. Now we are going to take a look at the Calibri website real quick here. And so Calibri is at learningequality.org slash Calibri. And we've got all kinds of information. We can see the different sources or channels of information that runs on it, goes through all the overview type things. And we have download and I've already done this. So I'm just going to bring up the instructions and these would actually be the same instructions you would use if you were using an Ubuntu server. So we are going to go ahead, I'll take this off screen and we'll get us, go ahead and get started with our install. So the first thing we need to do since we are using Debian, it has a couple of extra steps that we're gonna paste in. First we need dir manager and we don't need the sudo or the git for that matter. And we got the first part installed and we will go on to the next step. And not sure that worked the way it was supposed to. 
What did I do different when I did the test install of this? I did. Let's see. Don't need that part. And we don't need the trailing apostrophe. And then the next line here is adding the key. And that did what it was supposed to. And we are going to update again and then install Calibri. And once we have this installed, we will be good to go. Uh, this will automatically call the system service to start Calibri when your system boots. Yes, we want to run it on system startup. And OK. And I'm going to have my user as owner of the service. And you can note that this is version 12.5 of Calibri. 0.12.5 of Calibri. So one thing you need to do when you're planning out your install and setup of Calibri is decide on a couple of things. As part of the, the setup, we'll see in a few moments, we're going to have to decide what type of facility we're using Calibri for. So that part's done. I'm just going to bring this over here. And it asks you whether you want it to be non-formal, and they list libraries, orphanages, correctional facilities, etc. On this part, formal, which is schools and other formal teaching or learning contexts, or personal, which is homeschooling, supplemental, individual learning, etc. You can enable guest access. You can allow people to create their own accounts or turn that off. Enable passwords on learner accounts. Create a super admin. And it talks about responsibilities as the administrator. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. And we need port. I believe it's 8080. And here we are with the initial setup for Calibri. So we'll say continue. And we're actually going to choose this time personal and select continue. Guest access, yes, we'll allow guests to access that. Continue. Any, allow anyone to create their own learner account, sure. Passwords on learner accounts, yes. And the super admin. Use my name. save that. If you're setting up Calibri to be used by other users, you or someone you delegate will be responsible for protecting and managing the user accounts and personal information stored on this device. And we can go ahead and say finish. And so welcome to Calibri. First thing you should do is import some content. Say OK. And we'll just do one import here at this point in time. Calibri Studio Online is where we want to get it from. And once these load up, we're just going to select um, by language, so English. And we will 
go into say Khan Academy and we're just going to select one piece and we'll kick off the install of the subject matter and then in the next video we'll come back and take a look at how we access this and some additional configuration. All right, so we're going to let this roll for a while. We'll make one selection to install. And I'll cut the video after that starts installing. And then we can pick up in the next video, which will cover additional configuration. So we've got Khan Academy here and we're just going to choose something sort of specific so we can keep this fairly short and so we're going to just drill down a little bit world history and just we're going to say the beginnings to 600 BCE and say import and so what this is going to do is download this from the source and make it available for our users. So instead of making all of you wait this out, I'm going to cut the video here and we will take a look at what we've got to work with in the next video. Thank you for making it to the end of another practical IT video. If you like the video, please take a moment and give a thumbs up. Subscribe if you've not done so already and leave comments down below. I will see you in the next video. Have a great day.